Welcome to today's study session. We're going to be talking about different types of attacks and attack methodologies, and we're going to start with the session with hoaxes and water and hole attacks. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. You can let me know in the chat. You can let me know with an email, info at cybercrafttraining.com. Uh, this study session is for you. It's designed to help you guys to study and to understand the concepts. You can pass that test on your first try. So if you have any questions or you want to focus on a topic, feel free let me know. We'll focus on that topic. Uh, whatever you want, really. But let's go ahead, and if I don't get any questions, we're just going to go with the schedule right now. Hoaxes and watering hole attacks. So a hoax is a form of a myth or a legend. Uh, the word hoax means, it's a synonym to a myth or a legend, and a, a hoax is a type of email or message sent with a social messaging app, maybe a tweet maybe a, a Facebook message that's sent to a user and it's designed to uh, get that user to do some sort of action. Usually it's something along the lines of uh, you're going to have bad luck if you don't forward this email to five different people or it says, oh, th this person had terrible luck when they refused to forward this email to their contact list. You have to do this or bad things are going to happen. Or on the flip side, oh, for good luck, uh, forward this email to everybody in your contact list, uh, send this message to five different other people, and you'll spread good luck. So this type of message just uses, uh, just takes advantage of people's superstition, and it gets people to send out this message. Sometimes the message itself will contain a link, maybe the link might be hidden, and the link will link to a malicious website or it might even contain some bit of uh, malicious code within the email or the message itself. So that's, that is the goal of the attacker when they send out these messages, these hoax messages. They want people to spread the message and to uh, send it to as many people as possible. A watering hole attack is a little different. This will target a website or a business that people, uh, employees will use that are associated with the business that's the actual target of the attacker. So say an attacker wants to target a bank, uh, a large financial bank headquarters in, down, in the downtown of a major city like Chicago. So the attackers, instead of targeting the bank itself, and the bank itself might have layers upon layers of defenses, of perimeter security within its network, and we'll have uh, host-based intrusion prevention systems. They'll have all sorts of advanced security techniques on the bank's website and within the bank's network itself. So what attackers might do is they might target the employees of the bank. And they might do that by finding where those employees like to hang out. Maybe there's a bank bowling league, okay? And all the senior executives are on a bowling team. So the attackers might target the information of the bowling club or uh, a website for bowling equipment or say all the executives like golf and they like to book reservations at uh, a golf country club and the suburbs of Chicago. The attackers might target the website for that country club instead with the hopes of getting uh, executives from that bank to click on malicious links and then they can target them with social engineering attacks. Here's an example, a practical example. In 2015, uh, per Advanced Persistent Threat Group from China, APT Group, targeted uh, Forbes.com, and it's thought of the day widget. So the idea was that this Chinese APT group uh, identified that a lot of defense contractors went to Forbes.com on a regular basis to look at that thought of the day. So they infected the widget on Forbes.com with the hopes of gathering information on the people who went to that site. And it was largely successful. It went undetected for many months until it was finally detected and individuals were informed that perhaps their, their data was uh, compromised. But instead of targeting the defense contractors themselves who might have cybersecurity capabilities and might be protected, they targeted Forbes.com. So that's the type of watering hole attack. It's called a watering hole attack because you, instead of targeting like the giraffe, you're going to target the giraffe, the place the giraffe hangs out. So you're not going to just target the giraffe in the middle of the savanna. 
you're going to target the draft when the draft's drinking water. Mm -hmm.